welcome back to Spotlight on Newcastle County, which features all things Newcastle County, Delaware. I'm your host, Melody Kitchen. You never know who we're going to talk to or where we're going to visit. There are always a number of events and festivals that occur in autumn, and today we're going to feature one of them, namely the Brandywine 100 Fire Company's Open House, scheduled the first week of October in Belfont. As such, I'm pleased to welcome Brandywine 100 Fire Company Deputy Chief Gary Rosso to the NCC TV studio. Thank you for being here today, Chief Rosso. Thank you, Melody. It's a nice, very lovely studio here you have here. Thank you. It's, it's going to be a good night here to talk well, to you. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, to begin, when is the Brandy 100 Fire Company's open house and where will it take place? The open house is October 4th this year. Uh, it's always the first Saturday in October. It's going to be at the Brandy 100 Fire Company, uh, 1004 Brandy One Boulevard. Um, for information, you're more than welcome to call 764-4901. Anybody there will give you directions. Uh, the event starts from 11 to 3. Okay, how important would you say that this tradition is to Brandywine Wine 100 Fire Company? This tradition that we have is approximately, I, I think it's about 35 years old. Uh, that's how long we've been doing it for. Uh, every year it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, so we actually, uh, the officers try to compete with each other to, to make it bigger and better than everybody, and then they, excuse me, in the past years. Um, it's just why this year I've been uh, chairman of it for the last three years. Is the open house just for the residents of Belfont or is it open to all of Newcastle County? No, we invite all, the whole entire, the whole area. Any, as far as you like, um, uh, normally we get, uh, as far as Odessa, uh, Townsend, um, you know, PA, Linwood, PA, um, as far as some in Philadelphia, uh, they just come from all over. So it's a, it's a good event. Well, good event. what are some of the things that people can see and do? Uh, we have house? different uh, displays. We have fire app apparatus displays. We have, we'll bring in specialized pieces of equipment, uh, apparatus to where the community hasn't seen before. Uh, some apparatus we bring in is uh, some of the fire companies that we work with. Uh, also, vendor-wise, uh, it can go from anywhere from Christiana Hospital to AI DuPont Hospital uh, to uh chiropractors to dentists to newcastle county emergency management newcastle county 911 center uh it just varies of different of of vendors that are there okay and do all of the members of the brandywine fire company take place and participate in the open house uh, majority of them do yes it's um you know we have i think about 160 active members and it's usually pretty much about half of them. It's one of our biggest events that we put on every year. Um, so it, it's, it's very important to all of us and all the members that are there uh, that we kick it off and that, you know, it, we show a big showing for us. It's for the community um, and surrounding areas. So the majority of the members are there. Yes. Sure. Um, have you ever been called away during an open house? Yes. Uh, we, several years ago, we were getting called out a lot for different things. Uh, so what we do now, so we don't have to leave the, the firehouse, we bring in cover-up crews. Uh, we'll call different fire companies to come in and stand by. And what they do is they protect the district while they're standing by so we can enjoy our open house and enjoy the community people that are there so that they have questions for us that we're there and we're not out running around. Right. And besides the firefighters, who else will be participating? For example, I know that public safety is going to be participating. Yes, uh, we'll have uh, Newcastle County paramedics there, Newcastle County police will be there, um, Newcastle County management, uh, Christiana Hospital, AI DuPont, uh, chimney cleaners, uh, just it's a very different types of vendors. Uh, we have approximately probably right now at this time 30 different vendors that are going on. Delmarva Power. Um, I, there's so many of them, I, I can't name them all. And everybody gives out free giveaways, so that's, that's a good opportunity too. Um, Food-wise, we give out uh, refreshments, we give out hot dogs, soda, juices. We have pony rides. We have moon bounces. Um, so very family yeah, friendly. Yes, yeah, very family friendly. Very, very. Well, what is the parking situation going to be like for people that do well, want to bring their families? Parking situation is you can actually park around the neighborhood in the back streets. Uh, there's plenty of parking. 
Uh, Mount Pleasant Junior High, or I'm sorry, I should say Mount Pleasant Elementary School now, is actually right down the street from us, so you can actually park in their parking lot and walk up the street. Um, it's all on Mary on Brandywine Boulevard, right in front of the firehouse. Uh, you can park on the side streets. Um, normally, the community knows what's going on, so it's one of these opportunities where the neighborhood doesn't care where you park. They know what to expect. Yes. Right. Yes. And what would you say your favorite part? My of the favorite open house? part is probably the whole event. I, I, I do have to say. Um, when you see something come together as big as, as, as hard as we work on, uh, it's really good because you get to see a lot of the community come out. And, so you uh, like to see the final yeah, result? Yeah, the final result is, and me, it's the final result and seeing everything come together and the community enjoying it and, and the appreciation that the community gives back and says, this is great, this is great. So that's what we look forward to. Well, I think that'll wrap up this part of the segment. Is there anything else that you'd like to add? Yeah, we, uh, Brain Hunter Fire Company actually does a lot of activities for our community. And I just want everybody to know that, uh, you know, we, we try to give back. Um, you know, if you need to check out our website, go to bhfc11.com. That'll give you all the information that you need at upcoming events. We have our Santa program that we do every year. We look forward to that. That's one of our other big events. We also have a Halloween costume parade that we do every year, which is October 25th. Uh, you can look on our website for that. And there's different events that we have in our firehouse that we give to the community. Well, it really sounds like it's going to be wonderful. Yes. And thank you so much for being here, Deputy Chief Also. Thank you for having me. Appreciate it. Thank All you right. very much. Thank you. Keep it tuned here to NCC TV. We'll be right back after this short break. You're watching NCCTV, Newcastle County Television. If you have an idea for Spotlight on Newcastle County, please send an email to Director Tony Prado at amprado at nccde.org. Thank you for watching. We're back to this episode of Spotlight on NCCTV. I have another guest from the Brandywine 100 Fire Company. I'd like to welcome 100 Firefighter Matt Finelli. Thank you for being here today, Matt. Thank you. It's my pleasure. How long have you been a firefighter? I've been a firefighter for about four years now. Okay. And why did you choose to become a firefighter? I chose to become a firefighter because uh, it's in my family. My brother's also a firefighter and he took the career pathway as a firefighter as well as my dad. Okay. And are you helping with the organization of the open house? Yes, I will be there participating. I'm actually uh, also going to be helping out with the recruitment efforts during the open house. That's nice. And have you participated in the past? Yes, I've participated in the past and uh, before I was even a member I started helping out and uh, I used to go all the time. Do you think the open house helps with the recruitment efforts? You know, yes, I do actually. I actually think that uh, they do because it, gets, it allows people, um, the community, to see what we're doing. They get to see what the apparatus is, what kind of tools we use. Um, you know, like, we do demos as well. So the demos that we do, cutting up cars and all, they get to see what we're doing. So if they like to do something like that, it gives them the chance to see it and actually be able to join us to do that stuff. It's sure. actually really fun. <laughs> <laughs> will you be there at this open house yes, to help with the recruitment? Yep, I will be there helping out with the recruitment. Um, we're going to be setting up a stand. I actually have a video also uh, made up for recruitment uh, efforts that we're going to put into the open house as well. Sure. What would you want to say to people that are thinking of becoming a volunteer firefighter? Um, it's definitely life. Uh, life's a value, and we like uh, we help out so much in the community that it means so much to help out, and give a help, and. I think it's a great way to show help. You're helping people when it, they're at their worst. Not only that, but we help before. We try to save the houses, uh, smoke detectors, all that stuff. We hand out that stuff. It's a great way to help your community and, um, yeah. and just share awareness. Yes, <laughs> just share sure. awareness. Sure. Yep. Well, thank you very much for being here today, Matt, and I hope that the open house goes well. Thank you for having us, and I uh, think that Brandy White Hunter Fire Company and the officers and members from the firehouse appreciate you guys for having us here today. Thank you. Well, that wraps up this edition of Spotlight on Newcastle County. As always, thank you for being with us today, and I hope you enjoyed today's show. Please keep it tuned to NCC TV for news and information on Newcastle County, Delaware. This is Melody Kitchen. Thank you very much. Take care.